everybody, welcome back to another Lion Plays Planet Coaster. Last episode, uh, I mean every coaster I build is usually my favorite coaster. There have been some exceptions. Like Big Blue was fine, not my favorite coaster ever, but it's nice, you know? Uh, the monster uh, is like, is okay. The one that I built, uh, Underground Worm Colony, I was enamored with for a while, and like, I believe is still crushing it to the tune of 500, wait, that's Solaire's Trampoline. To the tune of $3,208 a month, ain't nothing wrong with that. However, um, when we built a downforce roller coaster, I hated it and it sucked. But at least it's making money now. And how about the green monster? That took forever to build. And lost $769 last month because of reasons. How much are we charging for this thing? 15? 20? 20 is fair. Or should I say, 20 is plenty. Do we still have a lot of people coming in this general direction? It seems to be the case. Decent traffic in the new section of our park as well. Uh, okay, well... Let's, uh... Let's build another roller coaster. Considering that we're building, like, exclusively roller coasters, basically, from this point onwards, um, I think we'll just build yet another path. I know what you're thinking. This is stupid. Why would you build another path? That's idiotic. You just built one path and now you're going to build another one? It's the darn truth. I did just build one path and now I'm going to build another one. You know why that is? More real estate. And also, by building the path outwards like this, it preserves more space for expansion later. And also kind of marks the area at which we would like our next roller coaster to stop. Meaning that we still have space preserved to create more, like, unfettered blank canvas out here. That is horrendous. Um, to create more unfettered blank canvas out here to continue to expand more and more roller coasters. So we can build a roller coaster that goes, like, whoop. Roughly the same size as our existing uh, one that we just built. But first, scenery. Bins. We also have a little bit of... Uh, we have a little bit of administrative work to take care of. People are still stepping in vomit. Which annoys the shit out of me. Because, and this is like... I don't mean to complain. Because I understand that complaining can come off as tone deaf sometimes. And if you have like, if you go, oh, I love Planet Coaster, I love Planet Coaster, I love Planet Coaster. But sometimes I don't like this about it. People go, you know, NL, stop shitting on the game. Why don't you program a better game? And I mean, I admit full well, that is not in my skill set at the present moment or ever. You know, it's made by a team of industry professionals. But there are some either design decisions or things overlooked that annoy me sometimes. Like, I don't understand the purpose of having a ride that just makes people throw up all the time. And then I have a dude whose only job is to stand at the exit of that ride and clean up the vomit. And yet he, he can't do it fast enough so people go, oh, I stepped in this, I stepped in vomit, you know? Maybe they're stepping in vomit in a different section of the park. I, I could be mistaken, admittedly, about that. So... Uh, I'll readily admit that, but it just annoys me a little bit that there are even rides in here that there's just no point in, uh... There's no point in, uh... Placing. They actually are make your park worse. If I was smart, I would just delete Solaire's coaster right now. Solaire's trampoline. Ooh, I stepped in sick. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. I, I also wish that these had GPS locations, but I understand that this is a lot of people moving around. So, if I could see, like, the nexus of sick, that would be sweet. But how are people feeling about tickets right now? Ooh, 1%. I'm so unhappy. I'm on my way home. I'm so unhappy. I'm on my way home. I stepped in vomit. Mm, gotta get some new shoes, Mom. Doesn't work fully. Are you guys throwing up? Where are people throwing up? Are people actually riding Major Nelson's console launch? I have no problem hiring... Uh, oh, maybe it's the pirate ship? That could be nauseating. I have no problem hiring uh, a dedicated janitor to take care of vomit. I just need to know where it is. But it can be difficult to diagnose. Sorry for whipping the camera around like this as well. I'm so unhappy, you already know. I'll hire a janitor, but it's hard to diagnose. You get the idea. It, it just works. Um, maybe I'll, I'll go up to speed. Well, I'm not going to go up to speed 3 just yet. But I'm going to promote staff because we may have unhappy vendors. How's our staff? Staff happiness is good. This park is very spacious. I could have told you that. 
We just want to make sure everybody's pleased. See, like, workload is high. I can understand that. Uh, this janitor is not getting paid enough, and they're probably being overworked. Who's on Solaire? Yeah, we got one on two on Solaire duty. North Vomit. That's the one that we wanted uh, to make sure it was working. Solaire duty is the antiquated one. We actually probably don't need janitors on Solaire duty if we have one at the... Uh, if we have one at the exit to that ride itself, but... Whatever. So we'll go 200. 200. And again, the park pretty much rides itself, like, or runs itself. I'm a little disappointed that we're not at 100% guest happiness anymore. And it seems to be dropping even more. Ah, 98-1-1. It's really just like, when you get a huge... Vomit spell? That seems to be, like, when people get off this ride, other people step in their vomit and they go, I'm so unhappy, I'm going home. And then after, like, everybody rides it, it's really just a matter of when you look at it. You can hit 100 pretty easily. Does this break down temporarily? I don't know. It doesn't matter. Uh, and we got 9,000 plus people in the park right now. I'm so stoked that our first uh, ride in this section of the park is actually driving demand. That's really cool. Uh, now we need to think about where we're going to put the next one. And I think I would like to put it here. But we need to put it in such a way that you can definitely, like, still make the track come back around to the end. So, uh, we have not built many different kinds of coasters here. There's a floorless coaster. There's a flying coaster. Those are the ones you laid, you laid down in, right? That could be cool. Don't even talk to me about the stork coaster, dude. Yeah, okay, let's build a flying coaster. I think if we just put it, like, on the same angle that this one, uh... And the, the key was fine here, I think. We just put it on the same angle that the, uh... Jamie Foxx breaking all the rules requires here. We should be able to make really good use of our space. And I'm gonna, like, probably spoil it for you here. I expect that this ride is gonna be fairly similar to our last one. Because, again, we've got a... I mean, we're, we're actually... I hate to say it, because it... Goes against everything I've ever believed in. But with these rides, we're not breaking all the rules. We're following all the rules. I know. I said it. But the reasoning is we have a very limited amount of real estate, so we want to make good use of it. And I think it's more creative instead of just like, you know, crazy high lift, huge drop. Crazy high, huge lift, big drop. You know, that song, crazy little thing called high lift and then huge drop. So, I mean, this element right here has served us very well in the past. You want gentle G-forces at the end. Just some gentle G-forces. Even level them out right here. And then you want to... This is just like the big brother to Jamie Foxx's breaking all the rules. You want to throw them for some kind of loop. This is a different kind of loop. See, this one was like an incline loop. This one's like a dive loop. You see, under pressure goes like... Dun, 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 and Ice Ice Baby goes... Dun, 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 dun. I wonder if this is too aggressive and people are gonna just throw up. Because they're like right on the edge of the park here. I want it to be a, a decently large element. We should start the test, just see how people feel about it. Like we're building right to the edge of the, the park here. Uh, I just noticed as well, the test is gonna take a hundred years because we need to uh, change the chain speed. There we go. I mean, as Stevie Nicks said, if you don't love me now, you will never love me again. And you scum and nail, you forgot to change the chain speed. I mean, yeah, I'd like you to build the station, please. You don't need to build the station. and Just start the test, okay? You're good. It, it will not start. What have I done? Start the test. Crank that car, girl. I ain't taking that shitty dog home. Okay, start the test. We're no longer working on the station, so it'll start the test. We know it's gonna take a while to climb. We know it's gonna be a long, long time until touchdown brings me back again to find that I'm not the man they think I am at home. Oh no. I'm a coaster man. Okay. Do they start this thing upside down? I didn't think about that. So they get dropped, stats are great. Fear's a little high. Yeah, that is uh 
far too tight of a curve to function properly here. No, don't build it out there. Are you out of your freaking mind? The station's fine. Start from here. This gets deleted. We can still uh, execute this. Just delete that. And even, like, is this bending? Why is there a bend in there? Don't bend. We need to throw in some kind of, like, even a, maybe a roll instead. It's got to be in an opposite direction. Mm, no, it does not. It's got to spit them out in a, uh, like, down here. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm not super familiar with every single roll in the uh, roller coaster lexicon. Like a snake dive, for example, that just looks like it murders you instantly. So, um, I'm going to suggest that that's probably a bad idea right now. Okay, let's try a sidewinder to the left. That looks cool. Remember, it's very different. Our last roller coaster... Had an incline dive. This is a sidewinder. It's vastly different. I think we actually need as much space as we can get. Like, it's better to have a, a wider element. Like, that, that will result in death. That is more along the lines of, you know, the kind of element I'm looking for there. So let's see if they handle this well. Stats are bad, but then they go through the drop... And they get, they get too afraid, but it subsides. And then they spend a lot of time in the green. And actually, they're loving life right now. Beautiful. Okay, so after they die... I actually think you should just, you know, leave them in the air for a while here. We should make use of the, the real estate in the corner here. So actually, maybe instead of leaving them, you know, in the air for a while... What if we just threw them for, like, another loop, uh... But I want them to, yeah, like a sidewinder right. I want them to come back here. This may also result in death, but it looks cool as heck. So I'm willing to, like, give it a chance. Remember, okay, it's climbing right now. They go through one element. They're pretty okay. They drop. They go through a second element. They're hitting the yellow for a minute there, but then they go back to the green pretty nicely. Now, here's the trickiest part of this whole ordeal. We gotta cut them back along the edge of the park here. So, I do worry that an overbank turn to the left is just going to result in, like, actual death. But a cobra roll... Might be able to get the job done. Let's try that. And I am I'm conscious of the fact, highly conscious of the fact that this may result in the death of our uh, of our attendees. I mean, we're throwing them for like this looks like astronaut training right now. But if this works, we can pretty much just glide them to the exit, and I think that we're gonna end up maybe green, green, yellow. The excitement starts really, really nicely, which is is good. We're fitting a lot of, you know, cool coasters with really dense elements over here. Take a drink every time NL says dense elements. Well, you know what? Know your limit and stay within it. Dude, the Cobra roll, people love it. They can't get enough. So I think we'll drop them. And as they get dropped, like this is going to bleed excitement. But if we throw them for an inverted loop, I'm going to tell you a little secret. People go crazy for the inverted loops. They cannot get enough. What about a pretzel loop? They're going, holy shit, I ain't ever seen a pretzel loop in my whole life. This park has had zero pretzel loops. You finally found the opportunity to make one work? That's right. Yes, I did. This one actually looks like spaghetti. I know we had one called the Spaghetti Factory or Spaghetti Island. This one, notice the theme, by the way. Our last park had Spaghetti Island. This one has Hamburger Island. I should probably eat something before I record these episodes in the future. Okay, just follow the stats. It does go to yellow there for a little bit, like a Coldplay simulator. And then this is where it gets a little dicey, but 
I think it's worth it, because when they come out of that, they're feeling pretty good. And then they go through this Cobra roll, and they're like, yawn, a Cobra roll. That's stupid. And then they're like, whoa, I forgot about the back half of the Cobra roll. That's where they bring the heat. Then this is going to yawn a little bit here. They're going to yawn a little bit, but they go through the pretzel roll, and it actually kills them. So we're going to take that pretzel roll out and forget that it ever existed. Instead, we're going to throw them for a mammoth vertical loop. And I think that's as rich as it'll get there. And honestly, after that, trim breaks and autocomplete, I think, would be fine. And we've made pretty good use of, like, a little awkward corner here that otherwise would be uh, relatively inaccessible. So let's just see how they feel about the, the vertical loop at the bottom there. As long as they don't think that it's, uh, that's what's going to make them lose their Cosmic Cow milkshakes or Cosmic Cow ice cream, then that's fine by me. This is way better than my old roller coasters, which were just like, big incline, huge drop, and then a hump that gives you some weightlessness, and then autocomplete to the exit. Now we're using at least some of the pre-made loops. Alright, they love vertical loops. Look at that, they love it. It even bled nausea. Which I think I actually am going to do again. As ridiculous as it sounds. Throw them for another vertical loop. Auto-complete. And then, like, on this section... Throw in, like, a fuck ton of trim breaks. Alright. Let's ride it and see how... You know, the common man or woman might feel when they ride this roller coaster. I don't think it's going to be quite as uh, statistically imposing as Jamie Foxx is breaking all the rules. But I think it's pretty good. Alright, so we come down there. That's exciting. That would cause me to lose my, uh, my scrotum inside of my abdomen. You get a nice view of the sky. Really don't get much... I, I don't like the, the view suspended here as much as I like the view from a car. It feels like I'm just looking at a bunch of like tall telephone poles or something. But if other people like it and it gives you that sensation, then that's wonderful. It does kind of make me want to throw up. There's so many supports. So this is the first vertical loop. So the nausea gets to the green by the end of it. Then we immediately throw them into another one. And it's hard to tell if that's productive or unproductive. We need more trim breaks, but this might be... We need a lot more trim breaks, to be honest. Why is the excitement so bad? Like, the whole thing... ...was pretty exciting, I thought. Like, they, they don't spend a whole lot of time not being excited. In fact, for excitement to be a 4 is really just, like, offensive to me. You're gonna, you're gonna start? Oh, it's already going, okay. Um, for excitement to be a 4 is just offensive to me. Because, yeah, sure, it starts and it's at a 2 for a while. I don't dispute that. Slowly climbing, but, you know, th this is a dead zone. But then, like, they're only excited after this. Sure, it spends a little bit of time in the yellow up here. But it, the 4 is at the low end of yellow. Maybe we have one too many loop. One too many loops, uh. Like, they're still very excited there. And they're still very excited there. They bleed a little bit at the end, but that's it. And now they're at 8, 5, and 3. Uh, the nausea is just slightly too high. I'm going to throw in one last trim break section there. If I can get nausea into the green, these are really good stats for a coaster. Like another coaster that could completely sell this section of the park. I recognize, by the way, we didn't put a priority pass in our last queue. I think that's fine. We bled about 400 visitors here, which is maybe getting late in the month. You know, people don't want to spend their money. They're budgeting a little bit more tightly, but it may also be because of a, a vomit-inducing scenario, so... 
I, I think, honestly, I feel okay opening it at, uh, at this level. Um, we may also want to just take, like, this final section and smooth it. And then see how it goes. So, like, start the test. We still made money. We lost a lot of park rating that month. Guest happiness only got us a plus 16. What? 7%? I'm so unhappy. I'm on my way home. That litter is disgusting. Where? Why is there so much trash over here? The queue for not a duplicate is full. Yo, people are pissed. I mean, we did just add a bunch of real estate to the park. I don't, honestly, is it because there's so many people riding the log flume that the... It's exactly the same thing that killed our last park. We put down like four more janitors. Look at this. It's just a goddamn mess. The log flume just breaks the game. I mean, I should have known. I should have known. This isn't our first rodeo. No wonder we're losing people. There's trash everywhere, but you know what? At least now we have a problem to fix. Um, all right, the Stingray One. It's not called the Stingray One. This is uh, the Steve Miller Band because you fly like an eagle. You're gonna enter here. You're gonna exit here. You're also gonna take my hand because it's off to Never Never Land. We're gonna place the entrance here. We're going to place the exit. We're going to place the exit. Here. And, uh... I mean... Prepare yourself, because the queue is going to be a little ugly again. This is what happens... we got to build our, uh... Our queue over top of the actual... Coaster itself. I don't think it's that bad. I mean, we got our last Q to 100 without really suffering too much. I will say, if we would just put the exit for the Q on the other side, the exit is going to be way easier to deal with here. Start with the station, please. So it should be enter left, exit right. Yeah. Start the test. Run the test. And then place the exit. And it's it's gonna be a little ugly. I also think it's gonna be a long, long time. Till touchdown brings me back again to find I'm not the coaster designer they think I am at home. I'm a Jamie Fox. Fuck Mary Kill, Jamie Fox. Michael J. Fox, Michael A. L. Fox. Don't mince words, he can take it. So I'm expecting that we may lose like up to 1,000 or 1,500 guests. And I'm also expecting that that's life, man. Like, we made a mistake apparently by placing a water ride and I should have known in advance that that would be a problem. But at least, like, I find myself thankful that there's gonna be a little bit of drama here in the Planet Coaster series, because honestly, it's just breeding a little bit of laziness. Apparently, all you have to do to have a park with uh, an extremely high happiness rating is never put down a water ride, because a water ride spontaneously induces thousands of people to litter simultaneously for reasons that make sense, of course. Um, so, our final thing that we're going to do in this episode probably is the standard Northern Lion. Well, you know what? What if we, instead of putting scenery... We put down like a building next to it. We had like 1%. Now it's 35%. That's stupid and awesome. I like that. Because now, like, every ride has trees. What if we just built like a 
Well, we need the, the fairy tale house. There we go. We just built like a... Uh, a small, like, fictional town here or something instead. 58%? And of course, I mean, what are we gonna put in here after this? Let's be real, dude. We're gonna put some more fucking trees. Excuse me? I don't have enough money for the Steve Miller band. This place looks boring! I guess that's my fault. I added another roller coaster. I thought that people would like roller coasters. It turns out, how do you feel about roller coasters? They're boring. I only like hardcore drugs now. Oh, come on, Jimmy. Don't you want to ride the Steve Miller Band experience? No. That's a cheap ripoff of a joke from South Park, the John Denver experience. Plus, it's a little insensitive. I mean, the dude died in a plane crash. Yeah, it was 30 years ago, but some people are still sore over that. What happened, Jimmy? Life was so good. All we had to do was spend 15 bucks. You know, Christmas just happened. I know you got money burning a hole in your pocket. Ride the Steve Miller Band experience. Give me your thoughts on it. Up the prestige. I'm gonna place some more blue fir trees around here. I know they're your favorite, and we're gonna live a happy life together. Look at that. Those people aren't afraid to come on the roller coaster. I've, r I've run out of money for the Steve Miller band. How much is it? It's $10. It's like the cheapest roller coaster in our theme park's history. Okay, we've come up in guests a little bit, actually. 70% happiness, 18% unhappy. That litter's disgusting, but the litter's getting better. It's taken us a while, and it will continue to take us a while to, to fix that problem, probably, but at least we know... Like, we had 19%, and now it's fallen to 8%. We're gonna need to be nice to our janitors. Learn their language. Imagine how amazing it would be. I mean, they all have a workload already. Like, they, they're not at low workload, so... Oh, Shake Weights is closed. Shake Weights? It's been open for, like, 100 years. I gave it a name. How is that possible? We still made 11,000 that month. That's good. Um, yeah, you, of course. Take a promotion. You guys have been working hard. And we've been making money. When I make money, you make money. It's the nature of late-stage capitalism. Workload is high. 200 bucks. I do want to check out this whole shake weights situation. That is way out there. That's next to like our information booth. How's this thing doing? Man, Pipshot Juice. Nothing can stay open in this location. Lost 200 bucks last month. I don't know. I think you should open it. Is this Chief Beef killing it? Gordon Ramsay's, Gordon Ramsay's Steakhouse lost $12 last month. How the times change, dude. This part of the park used to be bumping. Now it's like in dire need of revitalization. Look at when people come in, they're turning left. They're going to Sci-Fi Town. They're going to the bumper cars, occasionally. They're exclusively taking the left path through Northern Lion's Verdanter Gardens. Um, but, of course, the thing I'm most excited about, now that the litter problem is hopefully, you know, we get five master level janitors will handle itself, I want to see the prestige on this. And it's up to almost 1100, which is one of the better roller coasters we've ever, uh, or we have in the park, I should say. This must have just broken down, but it did make uh, two grand last month. Pretty solid. For now, I'm going to say thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. We do have a storyline in Planet Coaster for the first time in a while. And that story... The storyline is, we got to get this... Guest happiness fell from 100 to 46. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. Yo, the garbage is gone, though. The litter, the litter problems are gone. The roller coaster, the, the Ferris wheel queue is full? I mean, it is short. People are pissed about it. The Poseidon adventure I get because it's like a landmark ride. The queue for this is also not, wait, that's big blue. All right, the queue is full. It only takes six minutes to get through it, though. 
Damn, dude. You know what? $25 ride now. Anyway, we gotta get guest happiness back on track. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It does help a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Hopefully, our crack squad of uh, janitors can solve our trash problem. And by the next episode, we'll be in a better position. But for now, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for your support. And I'll see you next time.